place is amazing. I could take photos and videos here all day quite easily. Probably will. My hotel is in Tallinn, Old Town. And today that's where I'm gonna be exploring, starting with a walking tour that starts in about two minutes. So we're now climbing up to Tompi Hill. I think that's how you pronounce it. The uh, city here of Tallinn, the old town, is split into two areas, the upper town and the lower town. The lower town is where you'll find a lot of the residential areas, bars, restaurants, and uh, tourist shops. The upper town is where you'll find the castle and a lot of the fortifications of the old city as well as some political buildings like the Prime Minister's office and various embassies. We've just arrived at the top of the hill and you can start to see now the fortifications of the old city that still stand today. Apparently there are 26 towers in the network that still stand. There were, during medieval times, 66, but 40 of them have since been destroyed. Just getting a little closer now to the two towers that were on the video just a second ago. One is square, the other one is round. The square one is the older one, dating back to the 14th century when the Germans built these fortifications. The square tower is by far the weaker tower of the two. And you can see if you look up, the very small windows were built for bow and arrow defense. Cannonballs as well, if they hit them in later battles, it would be likely that one of the walls would collapse or be damaged whereas the round tower is structurally a lot tougher and if a cannonball hits it it would be much more likely to bounce off there's also larger windows that would be used for returning cannonball fire we're now heading up to this awesome looking church behind the camera that is apparently the only russian orthodox church in the city and it is massive compared to the other buildings around it. It's a really nice area, I like this place a lot. A lot of old type medieval buildings and you can see there is the city wall again. I think about half of the city wall still stands. Anyhow, heading in this direction and there's a quick glimpse of this Russian church behind the trees. There is a lot to be said about Soviet occupation here in Estonia, so much that I'm gonna be doing a separate video about the topic. But for now, I am looking on my right at the Cathedral of Alexander Nevsky, which is a Russian Orthodox cathedral, finished in the year 1900. And uh, it was built during the Russian Empire ruling of this area. The story goes that the Estonians, when they became an independent country again in 1918 at the end of the First World War, intended to knock the cathedral down because it had originally been built in a very German-influenced area of the city. And if you look around the cathedral, you can see German buildings from the period before the Russian Empire's rule here, including the pink building over there, which is now the Parliament building, and I believe part of Tumpi Castle. The Estonians planned its destruction, but they were invaded by the Nazis at the beginning of the Second World War, then by the Russians, and at the end of the Second World War were dragged into the Soviet Union. And during those times, of course, destroying a Russian church was impossible. I'm about to show you Tall Hermann, which is one of the tallest towers in the defensive network. Apparently every morning and every evening, 
the Estonian flag is raised and lowered at the top of the tower itself and the national anthem of the country is played. The national anthem of the country, by the way, is exactly the same as Finland's. Or the music is. The lyrics, I think, are different, but the music is the same. And this is the tower. Whoa. It is massive. I'm not sure exactly how tall it is. I've got to say, I am really taken back by just how pretty this area is. I had no idea Estonia was going to be like this. It is uh, very colourful and extremely picturesque up here, especially in the upper town. Haven't got to the, the lower town yet. I'm looking forward to going there if this is a taster. I may have said just a few moments ago, but I'm in the car park now, which is right next to the parliament behind the camera. I'll show you that in a second. But there's the incredible cathedral. And then as I come around a bit, you can see part of the castle, which is now the parliament building. I think we're heading further into the buildings over on the left of the cathedral. So we just made a stop at this church. This is the oldest church in the city, maybe even the country, I'm not sure. But, uh, the guide was just saying that there is no state religion here. Most people are atheists, which is different from the other two Baltic states of Lithuania and Latvia. So most of these churches charge a couple of euros to get in because they don't have much financial support. The only church that is free to get in is the Russian Orthodox Church because that does have financial backing. We've arrived in the Bishop's Garden, which offers views over the newer part of the capital. So just ahead of me is a viewing balcony. And from that you can see the, the sea and also the area of Tallinn that is newest. There we go. Look around there and in the distance you can see the sea. That's where I was when I visited the Seaplane Museum. So this is just a really nice area, especially now the sun's coming out, starting to light up some of these old medieval buildings. Lots of uh, German influence as well as Russian influence in this area because the history of the hill has a lot of German and Russian years as well as Finnish as well. Member of the European Union. And there is the flag of Estonia. Colours don't represent anything apparently. Although the guide said a nice little saying would be snow, the forests and the sky. Just come out of the Prime Minister's office here in the city. That is the Estonian White House. Minus the security. Right, we're now heading apparently towards a viewing area. There's another look at it. You can see I'm around here somewhere looking at the, the back entrance, I guess. It's called Stenbock House and it's the seat of the government and the state chancery of the Republic of Estonia. This is the narrowest street in Tallinn. Apparently during the old times, I can't remember the name of the dresses, but the ladies used to wear these type of dresses. And in this alleyway or street, they wouldn't be able to pass each other. So a rule was made that the oldest lady could go first. 
problem with that of course is neither wanted to admit how old they were so both of them tried to let the other one go that was apparently quite common back in the day I'll just do a very quick explanation of what you're seeing from here and I'll give you like a couple of minutes to you know, use your elbows and take some pictures.